Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review. Today, I wanna to show how to attach the M1928 type cartridge belt to the M1945 pack system if you have the cargo belt, uh, the cargo bag attached, okay? The system is just a little different, okay? Here, I have a M1944 uh, second pattern suspenders, uh, M1945 pack dated 1951, and M1945 cargo bag dated 1945, okay? And as you can see here, I have the cargo bag attached to the backpack. Flip that over, see? The cargo bag is attached, and now we're gonna hook up the belt to the system. The last video I did showed how to attach the belt to the pack itself. Now we've added the cargo bag. I know it's hard to see with all this uh, uh, straps and everything laying there. So I'll try to uh, do a good job maybe of trying to show you and explain it, okay? First of all, you can just pull them straps out of the way you got the pack laying down. You got these two bottom straps here, okay? Just like normal, these straps here are gonna go to the dismounted cartridge belt or the pistol belt. They clip right in there, okay? On the end of the dismounted cartridge belt, just like normal. That procedure is the same thing, okay? The one thing that does change basically is you want to be sure okay take the long strap see normally the long strap would go down through here go through that and go to the d-ring on the combat pack but this time bend you're carrying that the cargo bag you don't want to go through your belt go on the back side of your belt it goes all the way down and clips into the d-ring on the cargo pack okay goes all the way down puts on to the d-ring on the cargo pack same thing pull your belt out of the way take the long continuous strap instead of going through the loop on the bottom of the 45 pack around to the d-ring on the front you go all the way down here you clip it in to the bottom of the cargo bag or pack right there okay all right be sure you're on the back side of your belt. And then this procedure is the same. Click it in the second one of the cartridge belt or the first one or the third one, whatever is comfortable for you. Okay, same thing right here. Take this. I like to put it in the second one. <clears throat> okay. And uh, there you go. Now you have the combat pack and the see so now you got the combat bat attached right here see if we can get it start up here got the straps right here they're going down these go down here they grab the cargo pockets get right back here we can see they attach into the belt there these here the long one Goes all the way down and grabs that D-ring. Same thing. All the way down and grabs the D-ring. Okay? And then, of course, these support ones go around to the front and grab the cartridge belt right there. Okay? Hopefully, you got to see all of that. Now, the procedure, if you drop the cargo bag, it's very simple. You just take your pack off. You pull that one out of here, okay? Undrop this strap from the cargo bag right there. Pull that off. Pull this this way. Undo the long continuous strap from the cargo bag. Undo the cargo pack backside, okay? Flip it over. Undo the front side the cargo pack toss it to the side flip it back over 
You can leave everything hooked up just like it was, except for the long continuous strap. Now this went down to the cargo bag, but now it simply goes back through that loop like normal without the cargo bag into that D-ring, okay? And of course, between the cargo pack, you would have to adjust this strap out a little bit because uh, you know, you're traveling a little further down and that's just simply a uh, common sense, okay? Now, same thing with this one. You'd go back through the loop on the bottom of the 45 pack, snap it into the D-rings. Now, you're right back where you started from without the cargo bag and the attachments, okay? So, thanks for watching the Web Gear Review. And uh, if you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. I have many, many videos to come. I also have going to be here shortly getting into some videos from uh, some Cold War, uh, Warsaw pack type gear that I have collected. And, uh, but I'm going to start throwing something like that in uh, here and there. Thanks for watching the Web Gear Review.